Hi. This is a lengthened breathing practice where we'll be doing a square breath, two lengthened inhalations, two retaining the breath at the top of the inhale, two lengthened exhalations, and two retaining the breath at the end of the exhale. Just one point about the position of the spine as you're doing this breathing exercise. You want to make sure with the lengthened inhalation that as you inhale, you inhale up the back of the spine. So the spine lengthens like this, from the lower part of the spine, up the middle part, up the upper part to the head. For the lengthened exhalation, it's the reverse. You want to exhale up the front of the spine, up the front of the lower back, front of the middle back, front of the upper back to the head. So just bear that in mind. Sit comfortably, either in a chair or sitting cross-legged. Whatever way you can sit so that the trunk is open. Make sure that your hips are slightly higher than your knees, whichever way you're sitting. And this first one, we're going to do the breath for the, the length and breath for 25 seconds. So 25 second inhale, 25 second hold, 25 second exhale. 25 second hold with a five second transition and then I will do a slightly longer one, longer version in another video. So take a normal breath through the nose. Remember breathing through the nose, eating through the mouth. Normal in breath, normal out breath. Pause at the end of the exhale. And then begin with your lengthened inhalation, starting from the fingertips to the wrist, to the elbow, to the shoulder, up the back of the spine, lower back, middle back, upper back to the head, down the front of the spine to the belly, letting the belly expand, exhale. Again, lengthened inhalation from fingertips to wrist to elbow to shoulder, up the back of the spine, lower back, middle back, upper back to the head, down the front of the body to the belly, allowing the belly to expand. Exhale. Inhale. Hold the breath in at the top of the in-breath. Slightly engage the pelvic floor. Relax the shoulders. Swallow if you need to. Bring the chin in a little. Keep holding the breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Hold the breath in again. Again, very slightly engage the pelvic floor. Relax the shoulders. Could move the front ribs back slightly. Swallow if you need to. Exhale. Inhale. Lengthened exhalation from fingertips to wrist to elbow to shoulders, then up the front of the spine, lower back, front of the middle back, front of the upper back, making the spine upright, down the front of the body from the head to the upper part of the belly to the lower part of the belly. Inhale. Lengthened exhalation from fingertips to wrist to elbow to shoulder, up the front of the spine, tailbone to front of the lower back, front of the middle back, front of the upper back to the head, down the front of the body to the upper part of the belly to the lower part of the belly. Inhale, exhale. 
hold the breath out. While holding the breath out, relax the body completely. Let go in the jaw. Swallow if you need to. Let everything relax. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Hold the breath out. While holding the breath out, relax the jaw. Let the weight of the body sink down into the floor. Bring a little awareness to just above your navel. Draw back slightly there. Inhale. And come back to normal breathing. And just experience the sensation of this particular pranayama practice. So that practice takes four minutes. Excellent way to start your day and could be a alternative to taking medication. If you did this every day, just like brushing your teeth, you'll find that it has a calming effect on the nervous system. And in fact, the nervous system then becomes less sensitive, so you're able to handle more challenging situations with ease, which would be very useful in our world today. Uh, we don't want our nervous system to become, to become more sensitive because otherwise difficult situations become more challenging. Thank you and namaste.